Now that the required software setup is done, let's open Eclipse and configure Eclipse to work with Tomcat. To do so, I click on the Eclipse icon here. And when you are asked what is the location of your workspace, you can select the appropriate workspace. In my case, it is Jack's RS resources slash Eclipse dash workspace. Note that this folder doesn't exist. Eclipse will create one for us and make that as our workspace folder. I click the launch button. Get rid of the welcome view. Now since we downloaded the Eclipse for Java EE version, you already have servers view here. In case if you do not see the servers view here, you can go to window, perspective, open perspective, other, and make sure that you are in Java EE perspective. So the servers tab here shows no servers available. Click this link to create a new server. You can click the link and this dialog box appears. And in the dialog box, it is listing some of the plugins over here. I have the Apache, the first one. I expand and I'll see that there are varieties of Tomcat listed over here. Since we downloaded the version nine, I have to select this particular option. When I click next, it will ask me where is the Tomcat location. And I can click the browse button and under my desktop, I have Jack's RS resources, Apache Tomcat 9.0.14. Click open. Now in my case, I have two different versions of Java, Java 8 and Java 10. And for this, I have to choose Java SE 8 as the Tomcat 9 doesn't work with Java 10. So I click the next button. And in this option, it asks, do you have any projects that you want to add to the Tomcat? Right now, I don't have any project listed. I simply have to click finish. Note that the server is currently in the stopped state. If you want, you can click the green button here to start. Alternately, you can also right click and say start. This will take few seconds and you will see that the Apache Tomcat comes up at port number 8080 by default. Now, when you work with Java EE applications, we quite often use browsers. Eclipse comes with an internal browser, but for better experience, I would generally choose a browser from my computer, which is the default system web browser here, which is Chrome. And of course, I would like to go back to Chrome and then open localhost colon 8080. I press enter and you will see that I get a 404 error message, but coming from Apache Tomcat 9.0.14. Sometimes 8080 port might have already been occupied by another server, in which case Tomcat will not work. So you'll have to stop the server right now. In case if you want to change the port number, you can just double click this. That opens the configuration for Tomcat. And you can see here that there are ports specified and you can change the HTTP port to some other number. Since I do not have any other server running in 8080, I would like to keep the port number at 8080 itself.